Like every programmer, I spent a lot of my time getting frustrated behind my PC. A therapist would probably recommend me to spend some more time in nature instead of doom scrolling on Reddit, but wouldn't it be better to instead channel my inner Japanese teenage girl and care for an AI driven pet instead? So as my channel is dedicated to exploring the limits of AI, I decided to play a polymerization card to fuse together my MacBook, a Gemma 3 model and a Tamagotchi and see what comes out at the other end. For those Zoomers who weren't around in the early 2000s, a Tamagotchi is a virtual pet that lives in a keychain with a small LCD screen. Using tiny buttons on the device you had to feed the pet when it got hungry, play a game with it when it got bored and also clean up its poop. Over time your Tamagotchi would evolve from a baby to child to teen to adult and depending on how well you took care of it you could get some different evolutions. For example if you took perfect care you could get a Mamechi as adult and if you made some mistakes you could get for example a Gucci Pachi. And if you didn't clean up its poop, it would evolve into a Discord mod. Your Tamagotchi could also get sick and eventually die, which is pretty hardcore for a game aimed at children. It was really popular and some children had as much Tamagotchis around their arm as Danzo has Shringen. So I was thinking, what if we kept the foundation of having to attend the needs of your pet and all the different kinds of evolutions you could get, but replace the Tamagotchi's deterministic logic by an LLM. This way, instead of clicking a button to feed, play or clean or interact with your Tamagotchi, you instead have to type something, for example, give an apple, and the LLM would then need to interpret if this action was related to, for example, feeding, and also generate a pet-like reaction. Using prompts, I could make each pet also have a unique personality and some preferences, which would make it all way more engaging. My AI Tamagotchi should of course be permanently running in the background, similar to how the original Tamagotchi device simply couldn't be paused. And so my Tamagotchi app should be permanently running and also easily reachable, so a macOS menu bar app seems perfect. After, do some, after doing some research, I saw that the YouTuber Sam Osborne also tried to create a Tamagotchi app for your macOS menu bar, but unfortunately he didn't end up finishing his project. I wanted to use a local LLM because OpenAI shouldn't be spying on what I'm saying to my pet, but this also means that I had to look for an LLM that was lightweight enough to easily run in the background, but still powerful enough to judge my commands. I first tested out the new Gemma 3 model with 270 million parameters, as this is only 200 megabytes in size, but as this judged that a pet could be fed with a machine gun, I ended up trying some other lightweight models, and for now I have settled on the Gemma 3 4 billion parameter model, which is around 2.5 gigabytes, so it still runs easily on my MacBook. I use Llama C for the LLM inference, and the benefit of this is, is that it compiles to a C binary, so I can bundle this together with the um, application itself, so you don't have to manually boot up something like Olama. I also like that with Llama C++ I can just give a JSON schema to the LLM to generate a structured output and this is very important for my use case as I need to LLM to judge both um, an action of the user on which statistic it has an effect, for example if it's related to hunger, playing or cleaning, but in the same request also generate some kind of bad reaction flavor text and using JSON um, and using these structured outputs, I can constrain the output to always generate output of a valid schema. As I'm used to programming in JavaScript and I created my last mobile app using Expo, I thought about using Electron to make my game instantly cross-platform. However, as Electron takes up around 500 megabytes uh, of RAM at rest, I found that it, this was way too much for a small Tamagotchi game. And as I'm at the moment busy reading the Steve Jobs biography, by the way, did you know he used to wash his feet in the toilet for relaxation? Anyways, I felt after reading, after reading the biography 
that I needed to go fully native and learn both Swift and Swift UI. I also needed to create pixel art, which is something I've never done before and I'm a huge noob at. For example, to indicate a hunger status, I wanted to create a pixel apple inspired by the real Apple logo, but honestly, it looks closer to a tomato maybe. So if any one of you wants to create pixel art for my game, send me a DM or leave a comment and we can make something happen. Anyways, let's give a quick demo of where this project is currently at after a week of programming. So let's just um, build my app and show you it. Okay, so what you see, we have this icon right on the top, um, which contains all the stats of, which contains my virtual pad. So it's a sprite loop I've implemented. On the top right, you see these indicators, food um, and fun. Um, and the goal will be to, you have to keep these, um, you have to prevent these from getting empty. And you can do this, for example, um, for typing an action, like say, um, give, Apple and LM should then judge that this is related to food and increase my food meter. So give Apple, now it will be interpreted by an LM. A small little cutscene um, will actually play and the, the, um, the pet will give a reaction and the food increased. Um, you can also do things like um, throw a bone, maybe it will interpret that as fun that is related to play. So let's see. Okay, he thought bone was food. So um, the food meter gets um, indicated, uh, gets increased. So let's now type um, um, throw, no, um, give a toy to the pet. So you can see a fun animation gets played. These animations are still very um, rudimentary, but you can see the reaction of the pad um, appears on the top and you will have to keep these. At the moment I've implemented that each boat food and fun decreases with one every minute. So it's still very uh, rudimentary. The pad also has a name, so you can ask, for example, what's your name? And it says like, yeah, Pookie, so it can correctly interpret that. I also put a timer on top, which can help you. Um, you yeah, the goal is basically to keep your pet alive for as long as possible. Um, so that's that. You can also ask things like, what's your favorite food? Treats are the best. So I prompted it to um, always respond in a pet-like manner. So. Um, yeah, I still, of course, have to fine tune it a bit, but I personally already really kind of like what it is so far. The art isn't the best, um, but I'm going to keep improving this and adding more features to make it yeah, more like the real Tamagotchi game, but then infused with some AI aspects. Of course, the game is far from done and 90% of the game still needs to be developed. Like, for example, pet evolutions, cleaning and getting sick, having hunger and play meters that don't just decrease with one point every minute, better cutscenes and lots of other things I could do like fine tuning the LLMs, making the patch react to things you are currently doing on your computer and much more. If you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you in the next one.